Hey everyone, so this video is probably going to be one of my more favorite videos just because it has so much concrete evidence inside of it that I think it's going to blow all of your minds. It blew mine for sure. So here we go. This video is a continuation of my last video titled New Fan Theory Sidious Created Ray, which was sent to me by a fan of the channel on my Facebook page. Through making that video, I learned some more interesting information that I'd like to share with you all. However, analyzing something more in detail, and that's Ray's father. So we've all been trying to figure out, and let's be honest, we won't know for sure until Christmas 2017, but what we can guess is her grandfather. <laughs> Ray, I am your grandfather. Let's get right into it. So, we know that Ray was maybe five years old in that flashback we saw of her being left on Jakku. And we know Episode 7, The Force Awakens, takes place roughly 30 years post-Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. We know Rey was born 11 years after Endor, making her 19 years old to date. So let's crunch some numbers. Palpatine died at the Endor timeline 30 years ago, which means Rey would have been created 11 years after his death. Which makes no sense for Sidious to be her father. But maybe he got a little freaky with one of the Imperial board workers at some point in the timeline, perhaps Episode 4, Episode 5. And that woman had a child who had a child with someone who turned out to be Rey. It's not far off. And listen to my points, which I know others have made as well. If we watch Rey's flashback vision in The Force Awakens, we can hear Palpatine's force spiral jump attack scream in the halls of the Death Star. The moment when she's trying to regain her balance and the whole place is shaking. You remember that scene? You can faintly hear the scream. It's subtle, but there is no mistaking it. Also, her first attack against Kylo in the snow was the exact same first move we see Palpatine use in Revenge of the Sith when he was battling Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, and Plo Koon. Choreography is an art, and when they reuse moves subtly, there's a reason for it. Go watch the scene of Rey fighting Kylo. The director cuts the scene just quick enough so that we can see her setup and fighting style. Then chops to the next frame and we see her and Kylo touch sabers. She also does the exact same movement again in the duel if you watch closely. That's two times they use Palpatine's iconic and unique fighting style. Third point, and my last point before we dive into the comments here, when Rey catches Anakin or Luke's lightsaber, overpowering Kylo's force pull on the hilt, he looks at her in awe and says, It is you. He'd know if she was trained by Luke because he left Luke in his teens to join the Knights of Ren, so he would have been there to see her train with him. If she was Luke's actual relative in any way, daughter, granddaughter, or cousin, twice removed, whatever. That's not the case. She was left on Jakku so as to not be found by anyone. And the look on her face in the flashback as a child is that of a sad little girl losing their parents or guardian. So, who knows? All I know is that we can Sherlock Holmes the hell out of this until we know for sure, but until then, and until someone comes up with another theory, I'm sticking to this one. It just seems so fit and just... All the clues and hints The Force Awakens gives us just seems to be right. What do you guys think? Is Palpatine the grandfather of Rey? Did I forget something here? Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments. Follow me on Twitter and like the Facebook page. Everything is in the banner of this channel and also in the description of every video. Let's get our voices heard throughout the galaxy. This was your main boy Toos. As always, guys, have a nice day or night wherever you are in the galaxy. And as always... May the force be strong with you.